Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sumit Kumar and in this video we are going to learn about Lambda function URL. So, Lambda is serverless service. We have already learned how to create Lambda and we have already done lots of tutorials regarding Lambda. But in this video, I am going to show you how you can create the Lambda function URL. So, what is the Lambda function URL is? This is a dedicated endpoint for your Lambda functions. And once you create and configure the function URL through the Lambda, you, you can do it from the Lambda control that we are going to do now. And whenever, what is the, the benefit of doing this is, if you want to share your data using endpoint and the data is uh, being processed and created during your, from your Lambda functions. Now you have the data. Now you want to share that data to through the endpoint. This, this is just like uh, you can invoke function URL. You can create the Lambda functions and give that function URL to the downstream team. And that downstream team will uh, just use your Lambda function and they will get the data. It is very simple. This You can create the webhook or this is just one type of alternative of api gateway this is but uh, api gateway is full fully featured uh, services you can do many more things uh, apart from function urls but uh, yeah but you can see like function url also very useful to create macro services and uh, webhook so so moving forward just start how you can create the lambda function url it is very simple you can go to the lambda and create lambda function. I'm just giving the name as function URL and I will select Python 10. Where is the Python 10? It's here. And the role I can, I can just keep as it is. So it will create by default lambda role and you can, if you see in advanced setting only you can create this enable api enable function url but i don't don't want to do from here just let's create lambda function first so now my lambda function is created right now there is no function url associated with them with this lambda function so you can go to configurations there are many other things is there you can just go here and create function url there are two options to authenticate your url one is using aws im and this is simple none means if you want your endpoint will be accessed by a particular im user then you can use this aws im you know this resource based policy to used but for simplicity just i'm just using none here none will allow anyone to call the function url it is saying that lambda won't perform im authentication on request to function url the url endpoint will be public unless you implement your own authentication logic to your function so it will be publicly available if i will say it to you you can also call my function and if you see what is it is creating one policy statement here principal is giving star means anyone can this public and if you see function URL is none, means the resource based policy it is using here function authentication is none. Okay. So just save it. And then you can see I have one function URL created here for me. And if you see what is my code is, my code is returning hello for lambda. Okay. Let it be like this only. So let me click this. If you click, see. This is returning here. So if I'll share this link with you people, you will also get this data. So let's let's uh, try to understand why we create this one. Suppose that we want to share our database data to some of our downstream team. They they're having some web page and that web page need to display employee information. And then from employee information, we are getting data from RDS. So you have to create one API and that API endpoint you have to share that, share to your downstream team. So that's what we are creating here. This, is, this, this will work as a simple macro services where 
uh, it will create one endpoint and that endpoint will be useful for our other team. So let's suppose that I want to return instead of this, I just want to return name or name, name, to some other data and submit here. Okay. Let me deploy it and just refresh this one. So it is, refresh, it is giving me data name as submit. So whatever data you have, you prepared here and you can share this with using function here. Isn't it very good features? So that's all for this video. In the next video, I will tell you how you can authenticate this using AWS IAM. So thank you very much for thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel if you find this is useful. I have lots of video regarding AWS tutorials and related to data engineer. Thank you very much.